Today, we're gonna show you how to draw a face easily. To start drawing portraits, begin with front faces. Drawing faces with rotations to the sides, up or down is more complex and should be practiced at more advanced stages. While using formulas, grids and methods that apply a general template to all faces might seem helpful, they're not particularly effective for beginners. The most important skill in portrait drawing is training your eyes to recognize the unique proportions of each face. Faces are different, so draw away the formulas and learn how to accurately capture each feature. Pay close attention to the distances between features, their sizes, and the angles at which they are placed. For example, some faces have closer set eyes, while others have wider spacing. Some have fuller lips, while others are thinner. In this video, we'll take a step-by-step -step approach to drawing a face, starting with a simple outline of the face's structure without diving into the details right away. The eyes are the focal point of any face, so we will focus on making them as accurate as possible. Start by drawing a guideline for the eyes. Uh, this, uh, and this line is just a guide. Notice how open or closed the eyes shapes are. In this example, the eyebrows are thick and sit close to the eyes. So we'll simply mark their position. Pay attention to the outer corners of the eyes. In this face, they tilt slightly downward. For the nose, imagine a triangle that extends from between the brows to the base of the nose. Estimate the ratio of the base of this triangle to its height and sketch it out. Determine the exact position of the nostrils and nasal flares. and measure the distance between the nose and the lips. Mm -hmm. 
the placement of the corners of the mouth relative to the eyes. Remember that forehead shapes and heights vary greatly, so avoid using one formula for all faces. Mark the distance between the hairline and the sides of the eyes. Carefully observe the jawline and where its angles are in relation to the lips, as well as the placement of the ears and the neck. Throughout each step, aim to create the closest resemblance to the model. With time and practice, your eye will become more skilled at spotting proportions and dimensions, and your drawings will begin to look significantly more like your reference. Don't be discouraged if you don't achieve perfect resemblance in the beginning. Just keep practicing, focus on uh, the unique features of each person. Whether it's the eyes, lips, chin shape, hair or anything else that makes their face distinct. The next phase is adding details. Once you're fairly confident with the overall proportions, start refining each part with more precision and develop the volumes. 
We start with the eyes, carefully drawing the eyelid creases and eyebrow fullness and form. Pay attention to the shadows and their shapes. Use quick hatching to mark darker or shaded areas. For this demonstration, I used a B6 pencil for sketching.
Her volume is very important. Notice where the darks are between the strands of hair. These shadows should be deliberate, following the model or reference closely. Even if your goal is to draw imagined characters, practicing with real references strengthens your observational skills, which is essential for professional quality work. Drawing a variety of faces with different features, uh, lying faces, round faces, large eyes, uh, prominent noses, thin lips, etc. is crucial to improving your skills. Gradually, as you incorporate more details, you will achieve greater resemblance. Shadows and highlights are very important for adding volume to the face.